Restaurants can reopen to dine in customers on Wednesday. Governor's announcement allows 50% capacity, but no more than 50 people in the place. Denver says it, it will follow those state guidelines. Jeffco and Tri County Health are going to do the same thing. It means that bars will stay closed and breweries, they'll have to get creative. Here's Steve Staker. We want to do this safe. We want to make sure that we do this responsibly. But most of all, they want to do it. Business here at Joyride Brewing in Edgewater is down 70% year over year. While the adult lemonade stand out front is working, it's not paying the bills. So we're really, really happy that we could come together uh, to an agreement where we could be lumped together with the, the restaurants. Owner Dave Bergen is also the chair of the Colorado Brewers Guild, a group that had to push the governor's office hard, reminding them that a lot of breweries have a lot of space and they could follow the same guidelines as restaurants. We always knew that this was gonna be more like a dimmer switch than an on off switch. And so it's good that we're starting to kind of turn that dimmer a little bit. This phase of the dimmer switch will only allow a brewery, winery, distillery, or bar to open if they have a kitchen on site, if they partner with a food truck, or if they partner with a restaurant nearby. A rule that means a lot of these businesses are going to have to get creative. We'll take care of them. They'll take care of us. It'll work out great. Providence at 5280 is a tavern down the street from Joyride. Bergen and Providence owner Cody oh, Ford have worked out a deal. Out. The tavern will be the go-to restaurant for the brewery, able to fill in gaps when food trucks aren't there. We can have a, a doorman or a bar back or someone like that run that food down to them. Being able to offer people some, some choice uh, between um, the restaurant and the truck, I think, is uh, going to be good for us. Joyride and other breweries are effectively becoming temporary restaurants. Just the latest thing you'd never expect in this age of COVID-19. So do you have to order food? Guidance doesn't say. It does say that breweries can't just skirt around this by heating up a microwave pizza for you or telling you to get on your app and, and order something on Grubhub. Joyride is making some major changes inside their tap room. They are moving to a reservation system so that they have a database of people that they can contact in case there's an outbreak. Kyle, it's going to look a whole lot different if you choose to venture out and head to a brewery. So as we think about the safety aspect of it, do we have a good idea of why they think that sitting down and ordering food is safer than sitting down and ordering a drink? We have asked the governor's office about this. They say that you can feasibly follow health guidelines in the dine-in setting, and then they have to reevaluate things. We haven't really gotten a straight answer about that. That is a question. You could think that when you drink, your inhibitions tend to go down, and then you wonder about social distancing from there. I think there are going to be some people who have to get shoveled out of restaurants who might run into that exact same problem. All right, Steve Steger, thank you very yeah. much.